this right here, I would be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we're past that. Nobody wants to look in the mirror and not like how they look. And this is how you lose weight. If you want to lose weight without the gym, you have to, and not working out. So it was just like, boom, like, <laughs> it works. Like, there's no way you're not going to lose weight. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kayla Arne. Hey, hi, hiya. There. So. Today's video is another one that's long overdue. I'm really excited because, you know, let's just be real. We all, we all want the same thing. We all want to feel good about ourselves. We all want to look good. We all just want to feel comfortable in our own skin. And if you're anything, well, I'm not going to say if you're, okay, anyways. But like I'm trying to say, if you know what I'm talking about, then that's probably why you click this. video sorry i forgot where i was going with that so yeah 2020 <laughs> she's a lot now she first got me when i was like okay so i can't go to the gym i just spent how many weeks going to the gym consistency consistently it was like 18 weeks or something like that so i'm crazy and i went from new year's actually new year's eve through March 13th, whenever everything closed. So, yeah. New Year's Eve 2019, you know, December 30th, or is it December 31st? Is it December 30th? I don't know, but the last day of December, I went to the gym. And I was like, you know what? I'm getting a head start on all these New Year resolution people because <laughs> I'm the New Year's resolution person. But my New Year's resolution was I wanted to be in the gym consistently. Con consistently like I wanted to go every day of course give myself a rest day but I just wanted to be I just wanted to get back into my gym mode now I first started working out I would say in 2012 um, when I was in high wow when I was in high school I remember I got a gym membership with my mom and my aunt and my sister we were going to the gym and I remember I like lost weight like that like legit really quick and I've always okay I'm 5'2 so I'm a little okay I'm a petite person I'm a little compact okay I'm a little and if you're short like me on my shorties you know five pounds ten pounds is really noticeable on us because everything is so like you know whereas if you're taller and longer you got a lot bit more to like you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying I'm sorry. I started working out in 2012 and 2013 I actually started working at a gym and that's when I got introduced into like the gym life and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, anywho. So I've never been super skinny, okay? I've always been a little, I'm not even going to say meaty, I'm just squishy, like I'm just soft. Like I'm just a short little ball. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But I got hips though. Yeah, I've never been super skinny. I've always just been small and squishy. And so, um, anywho. So this year, this year, I was going to the gym for, what is that? From January 1st to March 13th, however long that is. What is that? Two months and some change. I was going to the gym consistently. And I was about 130. 131. I was fluctuating between 130, 131 or so. Now, because I was in the gym and I was mostly gaining muscle, I felt kind of like, okay, this is a little, you know, she's a little, the, 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 the. And, um, yeah, I liked it because I saw that my thighs were getting bigger because I've always had small, let me just show you how I look for a second. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, I I was like, okay, my thighs are looking a little thick, thick, thick. You know, my waist is a little, it's not, she's not, my waist wasn't getting really any smaller, but it wasn't, like, getting bigger. It was just, it was like I was staying the same, but, like, my thighs and my booty were just like, you know what I'm saying, you know? And, you know, every girl likes that. We like the whole situation. 
and I was weight training. I was, seriously y'all, I was in there every day doing something. And I was like, okay, I like this. And I was like, it was to the point where I was like craving the gym. Like I liked it. And I've always been a gym person. Like I've literally been a gym person since 2013. And what's, it's now 2020, what is that, seven years? That's a long time. And so when quarantine happened and the gyms closed, I, okay. Another thing about me, I've always had like, I'm not going to say always because I don't anymore because, you know, <laughs> mindset, it's all about your mindset. But since I was in second grade, I can remember being like self-conscious about my body because, again, I was just a short little meatball and, you know, just so cute. And then my friends, they were all like skinny. So I was like, why I got a little bit more squished than her? I don't know. It was just, I was just... You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? For a while I had like self-conscious body, body image issues. You may never know. The fact that I'm sitting here, let me tell you about growth, okay? I'm sitting here and like little things like this to be able to see this right here, I would be like, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? But we're past that. So, um, see where I go? I get all excited and don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? God, please leave it the way. legit forgot where I was what I was saying working out for me really helps my mental you know the whole mind body and soul thing they all correlate so if I'm not feeling good in my image in this vessel this beautiful beautiful body that I was gifted from my God who dwells inside of me you know I it's just I don't feel good mentally I have to feel good about myself and Part of me feeling good about myself is feeling good about how I look. I mean, I'm just being honest, okay? Being honest. And in order for me to keep my confidence, in order for me to feel good about myself and keep my spirits uplifted, I have to, I have to feel good. Like, I have to like how I look. You know what? Nobody wants to look in the mirror and not like how they look. That's a little backstory, kind of. So, I was like, what the heck? What am I going to do? I can't go to the gym. Like, home workouts? My apartment gym is closed. I can't work out um, at the gym. Like, I'm not about to do a home workout. What do I look like doing freaking home workouts? Like, that's not gonna get me excited. That doesn't motivate me. I have no motivation, right? That's what I'm thinking. So, because I was going for such, um, for over two months consistently, like every day, I was like, okay, let me just use this little bit of time. I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm going to, let myself calm down and when I'm ready to open up YouTube and figure out a workout, we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna do it because I can't just sit around. I don't know how long this is gonna be. I can't just sit around and not do anything. Cause why? Because my mental is gonna start messing with me. I'm not gonna be happy. I'm gonna be, you know what I'm just saying? That's life. Mind you, I'm really hot because I was just doing TikToks and I'm all like sweating. Okay, so I decided in May, it was like at the end of April before May 1st, because May 1st was like, I'm gonna do it starting May 1st. I was like, I need to do some cardio. If I'm not gonna be doing, if I'm not gonna uh, like be working out, I need to like get my body movement moving. Mind you, I wasn't at my daytime job, my nine to five. I was out for three months because of quarantine. They were shut for three months. So I was just in the house. <laughs> and I was like, listen, I, for a whole month now, I haven't done anything and I'm starting to feel a little bleh. Like, I just started noticing my muscle definition, everything that I gained from the gym, it was just like, psh. I was feeling extra squishy, my face, like, clothes were a little bit tighter. I was just like, listen, listen, <laughs> we gotta figure something out. So, I was like, you know what, let me go on YouTube. And also, something that like, helps me and gets me excited is, like looking at other people's results and it just motivates me to want to do it. I'm like, well, if they can do it, I can do it. And I discovered Chloe Ting. Okay, little Chloe, 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 listen, she's a lot. She's, she's got a lot of energy. She be going, her little music is cute. She's cute. She reminds me of like little Hello Kitty. And I saw that there were so many videos on her to be shred challenge. And I was like, okay, home workouts. It's a whole like little workout challenge she got the videos 
um, list it, and it's like a little calendar type thing. Uh, anyways, so I was like, let me do this, and I saw so many results, and so many people were like seeing results, yada yada yada. So I was like, let me give this a try. And I was like, I'm gonna do Chloe Ting. Now, before I started doing Chloe Ting, at the end of April, like I was saying, my mind, for May 1st, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start walking outside. The weather started to break, it started to be nice, and I was like, I'm in the house, and I see sunshine outside, why am I in the house? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm going to go out in my neighborhood, I'm gonna download, a, download an app to track my miles, and I'm going to run a mile. Okay, I was like, I'm gonna run a mile, I'm gonna see how I can do this because I see so many people like running and stuff. I'm like, how the hell? If you're somebody who don't like to run, thumbs up this video because, honey, we can relate, okay? So I was like, oof, this is not easy. So you mean to tell me I have to do this every day to make sure I'm not like gaining weight or, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, I don't know. So then one day I Googled and I was looking and I was like, how much because I started noticing because at this point I'm like 130 but it's not like a muscular 130 it's like someone who's 5'2 whose average weight is 110 115 to weigh 130 girl girl now did I look like I weighed 130 no but I mean it was there like I felt it in my clothes like I don't know maybe who like I said if you're short the smallest amount of pounds can be a lot compared to someone who's taller. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, the muscle done turned into fluff. I'm a little squishy, giving teddy bear vibes, which are cute, but it's just not what. I just don't feel good. And mentally, I have to be like doing something to make myself feel good about myself. You ever work out and you feel bomb afterwards? That's what I enjoy. That's why I love working out. So anywho, so I, I um, googled and I was like, how can I lose weight? Like, how can you lose, how many miles do you have to do to lose weight every day or how often, whatever. And it was saying like, people on average who do five miles a day or something like that, they lose weight quickly. I said five miles, five miles. You need me to run five miles every day to lose weight. And uh, my goal originally was like 10 pounds. I wanted to lose 10 pounds. I wanted to at least get to 120. So I was like, okay, you know, why not? My mom told me that she was walking around the neighborhood. She did four miles. When I said four miles walking. I said, well, let's, let's do this tomorrow, mom. Let's go tomorrow. So she, we were like, okay, let's do five miles. And we just walked up and down in her neighborhood, lapping around for five miles. And I have, I use the Nike, what's it called? Hold on. To track my miles. Sorry. I use the Nike Run Club app to track my miles. And we walked five miles that day, and it took us like an hour and 25 minutes or something like that. This is in the very beginning. This is May, okay? This is before I started Chloe Ting. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I was like, that wasn't bad, Mom. We have fun. You know, we can talk. We can... It's just a fast-paced run. I mean, a fast-paced walk. So imagine if, like, you're in the house and, like, or if you're walking and, like, your man just came home and you're excited to see him. And it's like, you can't run. So he's gonna walk fast, that type of thing. So I, um, yeah, we were like, okay, let's do this every other day. And we walked five miles every other day. And then at the end of May, which is like May 27th, I started Chloe Ting's two week shred challenge. And it was just like two or three videos a day, like 10, no more than like 15 minutes a video or something like that. But we, um, I would, I did a home workout every day and then I did my five miles every other day. So I was like kind of strength training. And then, mind you, no weights. I don't have no weights. I had a resistance band that I would use sometimes, but no dumbbells or nothing like that. One time I used some canned corn to work as a weight, and that was probably like once or twice. So this is really just all, all body. All body, no equipment, and no gym. So I was walking every other day for five miles and doing the home workouts. And then after the two weeks, I lost like two inches, two and a half inches, and like four pounds or something like that. So now I'm at like 126. And I was like, hmm, okay, all right, let's keep going. So results, again, results motivate me. If I'm seeing the smallest, smallest result, I can't talk, the smallest result, 
then I'm all for it. So, for up until <laughs> two weeks ago, I've been consistently walking five miles every other day. Now, after that uh, Chloe Ting workout challenge, I was like, okay, Chloe, let's, I wanna try somebody else. And so I found this girl, Vicky Justice, and she also has a YouTube channel, and she also does like, she had like a 21 day quarantine challenge thing. So I was like, okay, let me do that. And she was a little harder than Chloe, and I just, every, after every week, I was feeling like lighter and lighter, like the pounds just kept coming off. And to be honest with you, what I can truly say what's helped me is the five miles, the cardio. And again, I wasn't walking, I was just walk, you know, fast paced walking. I mean, I'm sorry, I wasn't running, I was just fast paced walking and it was working. And I was feeling so good about myself. I was eating good, like I wasn't, let's just be honest. This is how you lose weight. If you wanna lose weight without the gym, you have to be in a caloric deficit, meaning you have to eat, I don't even wanna say just eat less because what I did was I just wasn't eating bad like you know what's good and what's not I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like a list of groceries for you to buy now if you want me to do that we can go into another video you can just let me know if that's what you want to see but you know what eating right means it does it does not mean eating salads every day I ate what I want I just didn't eat it in a, a surplus like I just didn't eat a lot of whatever I was eating and again if you guys want to know like some ideas and examples on what I eat in a day, please let me know and I would love to do a video for you. Because um, the diet or the eating really makes a difference, obviously. But what really helps me is that cardio. So I'm someone, it's like I'm either working out, and even when I was working out in the beginning of the year, going to the gym two months um, consecutively, I was working out, but I wasn't eating the best. So it's like I'm either working out and not eating the best, or eating the best and not working out. And in April, when I wasn't doing anything, I was like eating whatever I wanted and not working out. So it was just like, boom, like, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, when I added in that cardio plus eating right, it works. It works. Like there's no way you're not gonna lose weight. You have to get your body moving and five miles every other day that's what like on average 400 calories I'm burning every other day I don't know how many do your math and tell me how much calories that is a week that you're burning like it's amazing and another tip I want to give you is I want to say intermittent fasting but it's not really intermittent fasting kind of I mean kind of is but I would wake up I'm still I'm, I still do this but wake up I'll drink lemon water Meaning I'll boil some water in a tea kettle. You know what? I'm not going to tell y'all this because if you really want to know what a typical thing for me to eat, let me know and I'm going to do a video for you. But here today, I'm just here to tell you, if you want to lose weight outside of the gym, no equipment, you have to get your body moving, meaning you have to do cardio, you have to eat right, and I highly suggest doing some home workouts whether it's a 10 minute video every day just do something to get your muscles like strong so not only did i lose weight but i'm able to tone and honey walking uh, walking okay is a big thing okay and i know the weather's getting cooler but you better get a hoodie you better get some gloves you better get some earmuffs you better figure it out and you better get out there and you better get your body moving like her if we're being honest but yeah that's 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 how you do it guys and that's what's worked for me I mean it's really that simple it's I mean it's really not much to it but I definitely 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 believe that what you're putting into your body makes a difference and you have to like get your body moving you know what I'm saying and that's how I was able to still eat what I wanted it's, but I really wasn't eating bad and I did not like I'm not even, I keep going there. I'm not going there because that's a whole, clearly that's a whole nother like video. Yes. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helped you out some. So remember, if you want to lose weight outside of the gym, do some home workouts, get on YouTube, figure out some videos. I'll list um, some of the girls down below who I watch on YouTube and follow their workout routines. Um, 
cardio, ride a bike, go walking. If you don't like to run, go walking. Get a bomb playlist, get your headphones on, and move your body. So cardio, home workout videos, and eating right. It's that simple. That simple, okay? Yes, but yeah, that's how I did it. I never tell you how much I weigh now. So I haven't checked in like two weeks because again, the scale, me and the scale were kind of like, you know, it messes with me sometimes. So like a month ago, I weighed myself. And mind you, I didn't weigh myself the whole time for real. But I weighed myself and I was 117. So I'm probably, I know, and I'm like, I feel even smaller. So I know I'm like 115 right now. So I lost 15 pounds from doing what I said, walking every day or walking every other day for five miles and eating right and just living my best life. So, yes. If this video helped you in some way, if you enjoyed it, please thumbs it up. I love you so much. Subscribe to my channel because clearly this isn't the only time you're going to see me. Like, you might as well just, you know, join the party. But, yeah, I'm excited to edit this and get this out for the world to see. I... I'm just so excited because my channel is here to uplift and motivate any and everybody who wants that. I don't know, whoever God says that's what I'm meant to do for. Okay, anyway. But I love you. This is, um, yeah. Don't forget to thumbs it up. Follow me on my socials. And I will see you next time.